Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan at Helios Telemedicine for Men. If you're just joining us, you can catch up on prior videos at heliostelemedicine.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Helios Telemedicine for Men. This week's topic is how is testosterone deficiency diagnosed? The first step is to visit your primary care physician for a complete physical exam. That will include laboratory studies such as a urinalysis and blood counts and chemistries. Once other issues have been ruled out and testosterone deficiency is suspected, you might be sent to a men's health specialist. If so, make sure your medical records and prior laboratory results are sent to him by fax or by patient portal. Your specialist will likely ask you to fill out additional specialized forms and surveys. He will then look at the results and discuss them with you before ordering additional laboratory work, which looks specifically at testicular and pituitary function, as well as sex hormone binding globulin and estradiol. Once he gets this additional information back, he can usually make the diagnosis of primary, secondary, or mixed hypogonadism. And while additional studies such as MRI or bone density studies may be required, the specialist can create a treatment plan, discuss it with you, and with your permission, implement it. Our next two weeks videos will be discussing sex hormone binding globulin and estradiol and how they affect your testosterone levels, your symptoms, and your general health. In the meantime, you can get started by taking our complimentary self-assessment questionnaire on our website at heliostelemedicine.com. And you can follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook at Helios Telemedicine for Men. Have a great week. Bye for now.